Hi everybody, it's Adam here. Welcome to the CADSPEC YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to show you how to install Fusion on a Windows device. So this is super easy getting Fusion onto a Windows machine, okay? First of all, we're gonna log into your Autodesk account. So I'm gonna to go to my favorite browser, and in this case, that's gonna be Microsoft Bing. I'm gonna search up autodesk.manage, okay? So on my screen here, I'm gonna to go to the bottom, I'm gonna type autodesk.manage and enter. And the first thing that's going to appear here is your Autodesk account. So obviously if you haven't registered before, this is where you set up your works email address and a password so you can get all those softwares and applications that you're paying for and working with. So we're going to tap that now, Autodesk account, and you can see inside of here all the information about me and what's going on in terms of my products are inside of here. Top right hand corner is where you would see your sign in and sign out options. I'm already signed in, so obviously that's why my email address is up there left and right hand side you've got a products and services area this is what you want to select next okay so we're going to tap that and all the information inside of here is all the softwares that you've been allocated usually by an engineering manager or someone who's above who has assigned these licenses to your user account I'm going to go inside of here and just type in Fusion, because it's now called Fusion, not Fusion 360. So yeah, you go and select Fusion at the top in the search box, press enter, and then all of a sudden it's saying that there's 13 options of Fusion. Ignore all the other ones that say access. You want to see the one that says download. Press that one, and a little download client is going to appear in the top right corner of your window. So in your downloads folder, you'll now have a Fusion client downloader. Before we double tap and install this, you can follow this video above me to look at your system requirements for Fusion before you download it. So right now on my screen here with the mouse, I'm gonna double tap that and I'm gonna run the installer for Fusion. So your installer will look like this. It'll bring up a dialog box and have a little bar at the bottom that needs to run up to 100%. All you need to do is go and get yourself a coffee and leave this thing to run because it'll probably take you about four or five minutes while this thing turns around in the background. So Fusion is downloaded. We can see on my screen now, the application is also loaded as well. So here is your interface and graphics window for Fusion. In the top right hand corner, you can see my little icon of hover over it also shows my name. What you want to see inside of here is your name as you're logged into your Autodesk account. So if I go and tap this, it's going to load us up our Autodesk account again, showing us where we download our products from and what other assets and applications we can download. On the left hand side, going back to your Fusion screen, you've got yourself a data panel. And this is where all of your models and drawings are gonna be tucked away into within projects and folders. And all of these projects, if I go and select the CAD spec project, for example, has an eyeball next to a globe. If we double tap that, it'll open the web and take us to our Fusion Hub or Fusion team, where we can add our colleagues and our colleagues can add us so we can share our work together. If I minimize that for a second, I'm just gonna double check that I'm happy with Fusion, make sure it's working the way I want it to. All the new documents will load in as untitled, and I'm gonna quickly go into primitive shapes, and I bring in a cylinder on this plane, in this center point, and make sure that everything looks good. Super. So that's it. Hopefully you found this video interesting and helpful, and if so, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, for Fusion training and other Autodesk products, follow the details below and go to the CADSpec webpage to find out more. Thank you guys, cheers.